Well, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. We have had quite a rainstorm here overnight and I wanted to show you how that water is getting away nicely. It's not getting away like super, super fast. It's just slowly going away, which is nice. It's not going to erode the ground. I will step down over here. This is a little bit mucky where I'm standing, but you can see it runs down here and it gets away on out there. I'll show you what I've been doing today. We'll talk a bit and then I have some more dozer footage for you. Sorry if you're getting bored of that dozer footage, but that's all we're doing right now while we still have the dozer. I would like to finish this hill up and then that would be great. I'm slowly getting this ravine over here filled in. Which would be nice, that'll give us a lot more land here because that was all, this was all a ravine all the way up past where um, that ATV behind the orange car up there. That was all a ravine here if you look at my older videos. This hill, I couldn't, I got stuck down here with my tractor one time and I didn't think I was going to get back up. That's how steep this hill used to be. But that I did yesterday, so I started on this today. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of dirt to move. But I only spent probably six hours at this today, which is enough. I'll tell you, I feel it after a while. So this is what I've got so far over here. I have a lot of this starting to fill in here. There's only one hole here, down in here. You can see where the drain is sticking up through there. That's just one little, well, one, one decent sized hole that I have to find some dirt and fill in around there. I know those trees are going to die. I know that, that one's already dead for me messing around it. A lot of these trees will die for me doing this, but I'm not too concerned. I would like to push this dirt if I can, if I have enough, all the way over there so I can just make a nice walk, a, a transition up. Don't know if I'm going to though, but it all slopes away from the road right now. So that is good. I'm liking that. Yeah, you can see that runs on a good angle there. So it runs my way from the road, and from the road it runs the far way. Which is good, so I will come up here. I want to cut this hump down here, just a little wee bit, right here. I want to cut it down, because it seems like it almost comes and then runs uphill a little bit and then down, but... Ah, yeah. But once I'm done that, though... See, I'd like to bring the road straight through there later. And then straight down here in line with the bridge which will eventually be a large culvert in the future then i'll get the far side of the hill fixed up this is what i did here though i cut a lot well the dirt was up you see you see where that stump is there the dirt was up beside that all the way over to that tree there where the dirt is and it was this height right here that's how much i've taken down and I'll show you over here. I'm just on the right angle. If I push this way, it takes uh, layers off. Just slides her off like nicely. In fact, when I back up and I go to turn, it won't turn sometimes. It just slips the uh, layers of clay out from underneath the tracks and it spins. So once I get down to here, there's not really a lot, I mean, in the grand scheme of things compared to what I've been pushing so far. See, our old road that I made years ago, well, Heather and I made, used to come down here. Before we built up all that dirt around the bridge, we used to come down here, all the way down to the water level, across, and we used to go up like that on an angle. It was brutal, I'll tell you, on an ATV. But now, that is so nice with that bridge in there. 
Now we can just come down and slip right across that bridge, no problem at all. I have videos of us building this, that bridge and building all that up. If you look at some of my previous videos, I usually have it in a playlist. It's called uh, building a bridge or something, homemade bridge, I'm not sure what it's called. But you can see how that's looking. Anyways, with that said folks, I'm gonna leave you with some footage. I hope you enjoy it. I know I enjoyed, you know, uh, working on it. Can't wait to have it done though, just the same. It'll be nice once it's done. And so at any time, if the fella comes to pick up the dozer, I'm happy. I've got more done than I thought I would. It would be nice though to get this all finished up. But that stump I'm gonna remove too. I was thinking of leaving it there just to show people how much dirt I've removed over the years, but I think I'll take it out anyways. It's not that big of a deal. I would just like to have this hill all finished. I would like to have this side here, just like this side. Not sure if I will. One of my little groundhog is out. He was out looking at me earlier when I come out about six hours ago to start that dozer. He came out and watched me start it up. He was not too concerned at all. Or she, I'm not sure. But the hole is right here. Yeah, didn't seem to be too concerned about me here. It comes out, it's living down in here, so that's why I stopped pushing here. As soon as I seen it in here, I said, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any more work in here. I don't wanna disturb it. Seems like it has a nice little home under there perhaps, so if I mess around, I'll either squish it or hurt it somehow. So I'm just gonna leave it. That's how it's looking up here as well. The little dozer has moved a few tons of dirt since I've had it, and I've been giving it a good test. I haven't been pushing it hard. First gear is all I do. I don't go any faster than first gear. And, uh, handles it just fine. I'm not gonna do anything with this here either. I'm just gonna leave this like this. Maybe come out sometime and rake this, I don't know, but, but that's just how it's looking. I'm gonna, yeah, like I say, I'll leave this here in case something eventually wants to live in here beside the groundhog, or other than the groundhog, I should say. I don't need to have that smooth. No skin off my nose if it stays like that. And it'll probably help a groundhog or two out over the years. Anyway, so that's probably not 200 feet. That's probably only about 150 feet from, from uh, this right here to the house. It's probably close to 200 feet, but I, I don't know. I'd have to measure it. And, I'm just not that ambitious right tonight. Not after running that dozer for the last few hours. Those newer ones gotta be really nice to run with their all automatic, but I don't mind these old dozers. I spent a lot of hours on them in my life. And it's still just a given her. I'm gonna clean out that top roller, make sure it's it's not stuck, and I will grease it all up and we'll be ready to go again. Yeah, so that's how, that's how that's looking. Coming along nicely, I think. Anyways, you folks take care. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let me know what you think, folks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.